Yo, what is going on people? In this in this part of the tutorial, we're gonna learn about constants, arithmetic operators, and other operators. Okay. I'm gonna remove this code here. Okay, now in our previous tutorial, we learned about variables. This time I'm gonna show you how to use a constant. Okay. Now the way you use a constant, it's similar to the way you create a variable. So I'm just going to say int apples is equal to 12. Okay. And then before the word int, I must put the keyword const. Okay. Now, I'm going to tr try to assign a different value to apples. And let us see what happens. Okay, you see, it gives me an error. And here is the message here, assignment of a read-only variable. This error occurs because we told the compiler that this will be a constant. It's never going to change. But we try to modify it here. So this is why it's giving us an error. Okay. Now, there's also another way to declare a constant. You could go here on top right after the, the include and put define and then this time I'm gonna put apples okay constants are usually named in capital letters so I'm just gonna name it 10 24 okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just simply gonna print it out here Remember, in our if you don't know what this what this function means, you should watch my previ uh, previous tutorial. So I'm just gonna print it out here. Apples in capital letters. And by the way, uh, C a C compiler is case sensitive, so apples within lower cases is not the same as apples. It's not the same as apples in uppercase so these are different words when it comes to the C compiler here okay okay now I'm gonna compile my code here and I'm gonna run it now as you can see 1024 is printed okay okay that's about it when it comes to the basics of creating a constant now I want to move on into arithmetic operations okay now I'm gonna create a variable here I'm gonna it's gonna be an integer and it's gonna contain the value 2 plus 3 okay and then times 2 okay and then let us see what the result is gonna be now as you can see the result is 8 okay the way it works now the C compiler works according to operator precedence for example in this calculation here the way we calculate things in math is that we start with the operator that has the highest precedence. In this case, that operator is the multiplication. Okay, so the computer is starting with the multiplication side, which is 3 times 2. And then after it gets the result, it adds 2, which makes it 8. Now, if, for example, you want the computer to evaluate the this expression first instead of instead of starting with the multiplication here all you need to do is just put this expression in brackets like this okay I'm gonna close this program
okay i'm gonna build and i'm gonna run as you can see now our answer is now different because we put brackets here telling the compiler to evaluate this expression first okay now okay i'm gonna move on to the next part now you can also for example i'm gonna assign 10 to this variable let's say you want to increase this value by one there's a very quick way to do that you could type apples and then plus plus remember to put our semicolons okay i'm gonna compile this now run it again as you can see the number is 11. you can also subtract one to it in a quick way so i'm just gonna say minus minus instead here and then i'm gonna build run my program again now as you can see the result is nine okay let's say you want to increase uh, the value of apples by two you can do something like this apples is equal to apples minus two okay and then i'm gonna build as you can see the number is now eight but there's actually a quicker way to do this you could do something like apples minus equal two okay i'm gonna build my program as you can see it gives me the same answer i can do the same thing with addition this will add two so the answer should be 12 here as you can see it is 12 it also works with divide okay any operator you use to make calculations so i'm gonna run it again as you can see it gives me the number five <coughs> excuse me okay now let's say you want uh, the remainder okay let's say you want to divide apples by eight and you want the remainder the way you can do it is that you can say int i'm gonna call it remainder okay and then i'm gonna assign a value to it call it apples and then this time i use a percentage i use a percentage this time plus the number i want to divide which is eight okay so this will divide apples okay the value of apples by the number eight and then it gives us the remainder okay which is gonna be the number two so <clears throat> i'm gonna change this to remainder okay i'm gonna build now as you can see it gives us the remainder two okay now another example i can do something like two plus ten divided by two okay remember that the c compiler goes according to the rules of operator precedence remember that in mathematics division has higher precedence so the c compiler is going to evaluate this expression first okay so it's going to divide 10 by 2 and then add 2 to it which is going to be 7 so let me build this okay what's the problem here oh let me change this to apples And then, 
as you can see, our answer is 7. Okay. And then, remember again, if I want the compiler to evaluate this expression first, I simply just put it in brackets here. And then run. And then my answer is now 6. Okay. Now, I'm going to move on. Excuse me. I'm going to change this to a different data type. Okay. Instead of an integer, I'm going to make it a double. Which means that I want to store numbers with a decimal point. So, I'm going to put 10.5 here. Okay. And now remember that we are printing a double here. So, I'm going to change this to F. And then, I'm going to build this run it okay now as you can see it prints out 10.5 and then and a lot of zeros here but we don't want that okay we just want uh, a minimum of just two numbers so the way to fix that okay you do it like this just before the letter F you put a dot and then the number of decimals the, the number of uh, digits you want after the decimal in my case I only want two digits so I'm just gonna put two here I'm gonna save my program and run it again now as you can see it only prints out a minimum of two digits after the decimal place okay Okay guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. That's about it when it comes to the basics of making calculations. Thank you very much. Please look forward to the next tutorial when it comes to our uh, uh, learning how to program in C. Okay, thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content.